You are not going to believe the story behind this set, how we're getting the first looks at the upcoming Hogwarts Express Collector's Edition. The LEGO group, never a dull moment over there. Before we go into this, be sure to hit the like button down below on this video. It helps the channel out tremendously. Now, this is the upcoming Hogwarts Express Collector's Edition, set 76045, 5,129 pieces under the 18 plus line. And it was sent to someone on Reddit over on LEGO Leak, Legend of Tovan. They posted this in the LEGO Leak subreddit. And apparently they ordered the Lion Knight's Castle and they got sent this. They ordered a $400 set. They got sent this $500 set that's not released yet. And you know, it's America because there is a part count on the box. I don't know if Canada has the part count, but I'm assuming it's North America. I guess North America is a better assumption there that this was sent to because of the part count. But anyway, irrelevant. Lego sent someone this set before it's even released, and the, they ordered they ordered the Lion Knight's Castle. They got this. What is going on? Either way, this is it. 500 bucks coming out at the end of August, beginning of September. And I like the train. I don't care for the platform or the 20 minifigures. The train itself is pretty serious. It's a large build. You know, it's 46 and a half inches long. Uh, what's that? 10 and a half inches tall. So it's a pretty solid build. $500 though? That's a pretty steep price in my opinion. And if you say, well, you know, BR, it has 20 minifigures. Well, there's a catch with those minifigures. They are multiple versions of the cast spread across different movies so you get 20 figs in total but you do get some duplicates some quadruplicates i don't know if that's the word year one you're gonna get the train conductor you're gonna get the trolley wench you get young harry potter young ron weasley and young hermione granger the trolley wench looks pretty much the same as the one from the smaller hogwarts train we just got a few years ago like the remake the most recent one i actually just looked it up it's slightly different the, the old one had Dark bluish gray legs. This one has dark red legs. The train conductor is cool. That's a new fig. You get Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger. Pretty cool, right? We don't need any more of those, right? Do we? Right? No. Year three, we get a Lupin, a Dementor, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger. Again. Now, it looks like these ones have movable legs for the, sm uh, the young figs there. So, But that's ten figs right there. You already got two Harrys, two Rons, two Hermiones. So, out of your ten figs, six of them are duplicates. Different legs, different style, I get it. But you go on to the next set there, year six, you get Harry Potter, Luna Lovegood, and Draco. So there you go, you get Draco and Luna. I don't know if those two look any new or different from previous editions we already have, but there they are. Then over in year eight, you get the whole Harry Potter family there. You get Harry Potter, Ginny Weasley, Albus Severus Potter, Lily Luna Potter, James Sirius Potter. Then you get, wait for it, a Ravenclaw student. And, I know you're waiting for it, you're still waiting for it, right? It's a Hufflepuff student. So you get the whole Harry Potter family there from year 8, and then two random students thrown into the mix, up that minifigure count. Now, if you call back to the original box on the front, there is a batteries included. I'm pretty sure it says batteries included. That's because I think there's some light bricks in the set there. So in the train cars, there's some light bricks with some little quotes, some printed stuff from the movies on there. So you can really illuminate those cars and get those quotes on it. Speaking of those cars, you only get one train car with it. And I think it's a decent car, nothing crazy. The little nine and three quarters platform station there, I get why they did it. They really, really sell the collector's piece. And as a whole, I think it looks okay, but I don't think it's worth $500. So that really does kind of bum me out a little bit. I would have loved to seen a larger platform, maybe not so many parts on the brick built tracks, but it is what it is. 20 minifigures, I don't think there's anything super crazy besides maybe the new Harry Potter children, you know, Harry Potter's actual kids. Other than that, Everything else is pretty much something we've already gotten. The train conductor is new, but 500 bucks. I'm not sure if it can be motorized. I don't have any information on whether it can be motorized or not. But let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this one. Thank you for watching. As always, bye now.